The majority of Edmontonians want the mayor and their city councillor replaced. That's the headline from a new Maru public opinion poll, which surveyed 400 residents in the Alberta capital earlier this month for City News. It concluded just 26% of Edmontonians think their mayor and city councillors deserve to be re-elected. It comes with the times. You know, like, everybody's complaining about everything, right? The bright spots, 89% are happy with access to green spaces, 79% think Edmonton has good or great nightlife and entertainment, and 71% agreed it's a good city to raise a family. But the city received low marks on crime, housing and homelessness and taxes. It also concluded 72% think Edmonton City Council is out of touch with what residents want. Those are tough shoes to be in right now. It's, <laughs> some of these problems are problems that don't have easy solutions. Edmontonians are paying an 8.9% tax increase this year, and there's talk it could go as high as 13% next year. At a time when affordability is the number one issue for Canadians, just 38% of Edmontonians feel we're getting good value for our tax dollars. I think it's ridiculous, and I think the strain that it's putting on Edmontonians is devastating and destructive. Homeless rates have gone up since the taxes have been increasing in this city. In a statement, Mayor Amarjeet Sohi sympathized with Edmontonians struggling with affordability, but also defended tax increases he believes were needed to improve underfunded services like policing, transit and affordable housing. So he also said he's working on squashing next year's tax hike. This political writer was not shocked to hear Sohi has low polling numbers. I think one of the challenges that uh, that Mayor Sohi and his office have had is crafting, really crafting a communication and crafting a narrative about the direction that they, that he wants to lead the city in. But Dave Cornwaye, known for his Dave Berta political website, is not counting Sohi out. Amarjeet Sohi is someone who's, you know, he's been involved in politics, he's been involved in uh, in uh, in the community in Edmonton for, for many years. He's well known. He was elected at the federal level. He was elected at city council. Um, I don't expect that Amarjeet Sohi will take anything for granted. Councillor Michael Jans also feels for unhappy Edmontonians but believes city councillors are often a quote punching bag for decisions made by other governments. Class sizes are a little bit bigger. Uh, you can't get a family doctor. Emergency room wait times are longer. Your 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 landlord's raising your rent for no reason. Like these things all add up, and and people naturally just get mad. And it it'll be whoever's the first person to come to their door. Jans is running for re-election. So too is Karen Tang. She called the poll a reality check, but defended Edmonton's tax increases whether it's inflation or affordability uh, or just really rapid population growth and city just trying our best to kind of meet the demand of that growth and in providing the services. Um, we are facing a lot of the similar challenges that Edmontonians are facing. Councillors will make more budget decisions this fall. Edmontonians will have their say at the ballot boxes in October 2025. From Edmonton, Shawnamato City News.